first normal form for a table to be in a first normal form it needs two criteria two things that should not happen in this table first no repeating values in a group and no repeating groups in the table what does that mean we'll see in the example in this example of the employee table it is in a perfect form employee id is the primary key and it has values of name address and phone number so far so good what if there's a possibility when employees having more than one phone number you can write them like this by separating with the columns that's repeating values in a column and it's violating the first normal form the other possibility of writing it writing them in different columns and that's repeating columns repeating columns again violates the first normal form remember what we gathered from the definition of first normal form table cannot be in a first normal form if it contains repeating values or repeating columns repeating columns are the ones that contain almost same type of information but in different columns the solution for the problem is that we'll take out the part which is which is creating problem in this table which are the phone numbers and create a separate table for phone numbers and connect them with the relevant value which, which is a name in this case and then and join both the tables now it's in first normal form although the tables have increased from 1 to 2 but there is no repeating values or no repeating columns database can easily handle more than one tables but it does not handle repeating values and repeating columns so we we'll need to take care of that and now this table is in perfectly first normal form condition the table does not contain any repeating values or repeating columns for a table to be in a second normal form it must have three things in it it should be in first normal form no partial dependency partial dependency only can occur when there is a composite key now what is composite key composite key composite key is when there is more than one primary key column means we just cannot identify the result from one particular column in this example if we only make a primary key of student id we cannot take a record of any student conveniently because what if we say give me the result of 201 now 201 we cannot be sure if we are asking for 1201's software architecture result or quality assurance result likewise what if somebody asks us to give a result of 205 205 is enrolled in history and quality software architecture as well so we make another column as a primary key now we can easily judge a record now the question will be give us a result of a student id 201 in the course quality assurance or give us a result of a student id 205 in the course of history now a student id was already a primary key we have also made course as a primary key as well when there is there are more primary key columns they are combinedly called as composite key now more about partial dependency a student id and course are key columns name marks and teacher are non key columns here in this table now what is partial dependency partial dependency is when any of the non key column does not depend on all primary key columns like here a teacher only depends on the course what course does a teacher teach it only depends on course it it does not have anything to do with the student id both are both are key columns here is a classic situation of the fact that non key column is only partially dependent on on the key columns so this is called partial dependency and when when there is a partial dependency we need to we need to break that that column into another table which is only partially dependent marks and name both are totally dependent on both the keys so no need there teachers column is taken away from the main table and it is it is combined with a course column two tables and both tables does not have any partial dependency so it is now considered in the second normal form for a table to be in a third normal form it must be in a first normal form and second normal form already third normal form should not have a transitive dependency what is transitive dependency we will see in the example now one more thing to note is that if one non key column can be guessed from other non key column that means it is violating third normal forms rule and we'll need to break the table we can go through the examples to make it more understandable in this table student id is the primary key column and name exam type and maximum marks are non key columns from the table we can 
guess that if a student is opting for viva means maximum marks will be 20 a student is opting for theory it will be of 100 marks and practical will be of 50 marks means we can guess the maximum marks column from exam type column and it also means that maximum marks column is transitively depending on exam type column so if some student of id 209 comes and he's opting for practical exam we'll already know the maximum marks of practical would be 50 this is the classic case of violating third normal form we'll break the maximum marks column and put it in another another table now it's not in third normal form there is no transitive dependency between the tables transitive dependency is a bit tricky so we'll see another example of that now match match number is the primary key teams ground and capacity these are the non primary keys of this table it is absolutely clear that if the match is played in MCG, the capacity of MCG is 80,000. If it's played in Hobart, it's 30,000. Likewise, the other ground. We already know the capacity of the grounds. So if match number 9 is played in MCG, we'll automatically put 80,000 in the capacity column. So this is again capacity table is transitively depending on ground table. Again, violating third normal form. We'll break the table. Taking away the transitive part of the table, which is capacity putting it in other table last example for the third normal form in this table if someone's designation is manager the salary he'll be getting will be of 80,000 in the database table if there is any transitive dependency between the non key columns we'll only break the part that is transitively depending on other part transitive dependency also occurs when there is a kind of calculation performed in the tables like in this table the amount of earning is dependent on total ticket sale multiply by the price of the ticket this is also a transitive dependency if there are a thousand tickets sold and each ticket is of 200 then there is a earning of 200,000 so if any calculation can be performed on table it is also considered in third normal to achieve BCNF in a table we must make sure that the table satisfies first second and third normal form how does it satisfy and how does we achieve BCNF we will see exactly how in this video now we have two options either we understand BCNF by a tougher definition that has been shown on the screen or we keep a very simple rule in our mind which says non prime attribute shall not determine non prime attribute I think we shall stuck to a simpler way so moving on to our example we have a college table which has three attributes student course and teacher a student plus course combines into make a candidate key the prime keys of the table as for every table this table also has the rules has a set of rules which says teacher can only teach one course and a course can be taught by multiple teachers we will keep this rule in mind we will also look the functional dependencies the first functional dependency is a student plus course determines teacher which is all right which does not violate bcnf the other functional dependency the teacher determines course violates BCNF as we determined earlier a non prime key cannot determines or guess a prime key and that's what happens exactly in this table a non prime teacher key determines a prime course key so this table is certainly not in BCNF we also need to make sure if the table satisfies first second and third normal form the table does not have multi-valued attribute as combination of the primary keys so so it does satisfy the first normal form the table also does not have a partial dependency means the non prime key just not depends on only a part of candidate key it depends on both the course and the student so the table also not has partial dependency the transitive dependency says non prime attribute guesses or determines the other non prime attribute and in this table there is only one non prime attribute so there is no question of transitive dependency in our table as well now the condition for bcnf is x determines y where x is primary and that's exactly what our table is violating teacher is determining the course so what we can do is decompose the table bcnf decomposition has a rule we will split the given table into imaginary tables r1 r2 where in r2 our attributes will be the problematic attributes of the functional dependency in which teacher determines the course so we will take these two attributes and write it down and make it a table of it and call it r2 
and R1 and R1 will be of a non prime attribute and a prime attribute which was which was apart from the problematic one so the attributes for this table will be a student and a teacher so we have decomposed the original table which was not in BCNF into two tables so that's how we end up achieving the BCNF fourth normal form has its soul in multi-value dependency but also we need to have some perspective about functional dependency as well let's clear our concept about multi-value and functional dependency from the student table we can see a student has a functional dependency on address because for one value of student attribute there exists only one value of address address is not multi-valued like phone number a student has two phone numbers and two hobbies but address is only one so for one value of a student there exists only one address this is called functional dependency one to one relation it's called let's label our table with a b c and d Functional dependency is sh showed with one arrow between two attributes. A is functionally dependent on B. A student is functionally dependent on address and a student has a one address. Now let's look at multi-valued attribute. A student Sagir has multiple phone numbers, two in this case, and multiple hobbies. Again, two in this case, cricket and soccer. The spelling of soccer is wrong here in this table. Rohit also has two phone numbers and two hobbies it's called one to it's called one to two or one to many relations and multi-valued attributes is shown with two arrows between the attributes c is multi-value of a and d is multi-value of a it's shown in the example two arrows signify multi-value one arrow signifies the functional dependency between the two attributes the condition for fourth normal form is it must have at least three columns there will be no point if there are only two columns in the table the other condition for one value of a more than one value of b should exist and the table satisfies this because for one value of Sagir the student there exist multiple phone numbers two phone numbers and multiple hobbies similarly for Rohit there are multiple phone numbers and multiple hobbies so so this also satisfies the condition the third condition is other columns must be independent of each other a hobby and phone number must not have anything to do with each other a hobby cannot guess the phone number and phone number cannot guess the hobby in this case so they are independent of each other so this condition is also satisfied the other condition is that it should have bypassed all one first second third and bcnf normal form it also satisfies second normal form because there is no there is no partial dependency none of the multi-valued attributes is partially dependent on key in fact they cannot depend partially on key because for the partial dependency there is a need of multiple keys but there is only one key in our table so there is no partial dependency it also satisfies third normal form which says there must not be any transitive dependency between tables there is transitive dependency means one non-key column can, can guess other non-key column so it also satisfies the condition it also satisfies bcnf condition as well so it satisfies the previous normalization conditions so b is a multi-value of a c is a multi-value of double arrows means they are multi-values so what we can do is to decompose a b and c and the rule for decomposition is so the rule for decomposition is we will break the table into two and we will keep non multi-valued attribute in the first column and the and the other column will be filled by the multi-valued attribute which are phone number and hobby so we have split the table into two and now we have achieved fourth normal form Example number two, if we have a course table, database management system is taught by multiple teachers and both the teacher uses a different textbook for the course. So teacher and book are multi-valued. We will decompose the table for fourth normal form. Decompose it in the same way that we will non-multi-valued attribute 
and on the right hand side we will keep the multivariate attributes which are teacher and book so we have, we have achieved that fourth normal form for the fifth normal form first of all all previous normalization forms 1 2 3 and b c and f must be satisfied the other requirements for fifth normal form are there should be no joint dependency joint dependency means any attribute can guess other attribute if any attribute can guess any other attribute in the table this means there is a joint dependency between the tables from our table a department table cannot guess a company or id department cannot cannot guess any other table so our table is in no joint dependency this satisfies the condition the other condition is whole table must be a composite key composite key means the combination of all the columns make it a primary key of the table which is a unique identifier so combination makes it a unique identifier fifth normal form is achieved by splitting the table into maximum possible solutions in our case there is a three column table and three column table can be split it maximum to three more tables with all the with all the binary combinations binary combinations means two column tables so the three maximum combinations we can achieve we can attain from the three column table we will write it down and there is always a binary con connection in tables which means from our example id an employee id and id works in the company means an employee is working in a company company has a department and the department has an id means department has an thank you so much for watching please support us by subscribing to our channel so that we can make more videos like this and if you have any video ideas or want us to make a video on any educational topic please write it down in the comment box